In this Wix tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add your Instagram feed to your website. So we've got Wix here and it's built out of sections. What we need to do first is add a section where we're going to add our Instagram feed. If you already have one, you can just click on that section and select it. Let's add one up here. So I'm just going to hover over between two sections and click the button that says add section. Now from here, you have a lot of different choices, but I'm going to add a blank section. We're going to drop in the Instagram feed to this section. Have I said section enough? <laughs> okay, so now click on your section and we're going to change the background unless you want it to be transparent. In this case, it's kind of showing part of the header. So for me, I'm going to click on that, change section background and click color and just going to make it white. So now we have a background that is white or a section that has a white background. All right. so you might think you're going to add elements. And while that's true for some of the other social media in this social area, you have a few different ones here you can choose from. Instagram's not there. So we actually need to add an app. Now Wix has an app market and some are free, some aren't, but there are also multiple to choose from. In this case, searching apps, I'm going to type in Instagram feed. Once we have that opened, there's a few different options here. There's Instagram feed, which we're going to use this first one. There's also social stream, there's social media feed. There's a few different ones, Instagram pro. I recommend trying them out. I'm just going to show you this first one as an example of something you can add. So this is free to install. We can click on it. It takes us to the landing page and then we can click add to site. Now we have our section selected, so it's probably going to put it right there. And there it is. So it put this Instagram feed, which has default content in it, inside of this section. We could drag it up to attach it to the top of the section, or if you wanted a little padding, you can drag it down. But you have this feed here. You can use the corners to scale it up and down, but then we're going to manage this. And to manage it, we just need to click on it and go to settings. We don't have any links set up. That's where you can add links uh, to your Instagram posts. And then otherwise, it's just stretching full width or not full width and then we have a bunch of settings so inside of settings we need to actually connect our instagram feed so obviously you need to log in to pull your feed in to do that we can either connect a personal account or we can connect a business account the personal account simply opens up a login window so you would just log in with your username and password connecting a business account if you're aware of this or you have a business account you know it kind of goes through facebook so I'm going to go ahead and log in and then select the page that I want to be displayed, which would be the pixel on bracket page. I'll show you this or I'll skip ahead depending on what sensitive, you know, password info it shows. So we're going to click connect business account. Once we click that, it's going to pop open this window. We continue as our Facebook profile that manages the account. And I actually already had it selected. So I pulled in my at pixel and bracket handle. Now we can customize our display and by clicking on that, it's going to simply take us to the display section on this left hand side um, of the settings of our Instagram feed. In here, we can choose to show the profile information and then you can show specific things like if you only wanted um, the photo and the bio and a follow button as well as the profile uh well i already said profile photo but like all of this information you could do that instead of showing total posts you can also turn off that section entirely if you just want this to be a clean feed of your post and speaking of your post that's the next section you can show your posts or not and you can show a hashtag feed or not so you can use a hashtag and show a feed based on that hashtag next up is settings Inside of settings, we can choose what happens when someone clicks on a post, whether they expand to full, like the post expands to full screen or it opens directly in Instagram or nothing happens actually. Um, there's also hovering options on the post. I can show you that when we preview and then app direction. So the way that everything's sort of laid out, I'm going to continue showing profile just so we can see a few of these other options that are coming up. But under text, we can show hashtags a custom title or no title to the hashtag feed. So we could make a custom title down here. Right now it says hashtag feed. We could call it puppies or whatever, but the hashtag of the feed will still exist underneath it, but you don't have to actually show that hashtag basically, 
or you can or have no title down there. So you can actually show things that aren't your Instagram feed with this app. Now there's the follow button, you can change the text. There's a load more button, you can change that text. Links, you can use links on your Instagram feed to take visitors to products or site pages or other websites. So you could add custom links. On the layout section, we can basically drag these sections. So if you wanted the profile to show up below for some reason, you can drag those around. And then when you click on them, you can actually determine how the layout is. So you could center the layout or have the classic left, uh, left align style. You can also adjust the profile photo shape, which mine doesn't work because I actually have a white background, so you can't see it. And then the photo size, etc. So you can make some adjustments here to the layout of each of these sections. Go back, your posts, you can choose some layout options here. Is it grid? Is it a sidebar? Collage? Like this is this is all the degrees of detail that you can use here. Uh, adjusting the columns, adjusting the way that your feed looks, and then at the bottom you can reset it to the original design. So you have a lot of options here for each of the different sections uh, to lay them out differently if you'd like. Now you also have a design tab, and then you have individual categories here like your posts. You can click on this and there is an overlay effect which you could turn off before, the hover effect, but if you do have it, this is what will show when you use the overlay, you can adjust the opacity of the overlay and the color of the overlay. You can adjust the font that the overlay effect is using. You can, of course, adjust the text color. You can also adjust what info is displayed. So is it just the likes and the comment numbers? Is it the actual captions that you've put on the photo? How does that hover effect overlay? Is it a fade in? Is there no effect? and corner radius on your posts, etc. You can turn those up. You can see how it's rounded off the corners of the posts. Um, you can also adjust a few other effects like zooming in and such when you're hovering over a post. So lots of lots of different options here. And down here you can hide the hover mode if you don't actually want to be previewing it while you're making some of these adjustments. The font here, you can adjust any of the text on your username, your bio, uh, the colors, everything, the hashtag fonts and colors. So you have options here with the fonts, the buttons. You can change how these buttons look. You can adjust the border width, so we could increase that a little bit. We could adjust the corner radius, so you can see now this button is rounded instead of uh, the square button that we had. We go back into design, back to buttons. Uh, there's also hover effects on the buttons. You can make all these tweaks. So you, you actually have a ton of custom uh, customization here. Navigation arrows, same thing. And the background itself, you could make it uh, basically see-through. So you can make it transparent so that it takes the background of your section, or you can actually give it a white back. There's also some advanced settings when it comes to profile color, post color, hashtag color. And so all those different section backgrounds, you can make those adjustments on. So this is pretty awesome here. Uh, expand mode will take a peek. So this is when you expand it, when you click on a post and it expands up, you can make um, some adjustments to the design of this segment as well. So you can, you know, remove things like comments and replies just so show the caption. You can remove the counters if you don't want to show the numbers, even the timestamp. So you can clean that up a little bit or you can just show everything if you want to. That's what the ex expand mode uh, design settings are. And then of course there's a support section if you have any trouble, but that is a lot on how to show your Instagram feed here um, on Wix and all the different customization options. Now this is an app. This is an app, so you can actually manage your app. So if you don't like this one and you wanna try some others, you can first off just simply press the delete key when you have that selected or you can go over to once you're in add apps over here and you're in that app market at the bottom of this is actually manage apps and when you're managing your apps you can see all the installed apps i have instagram feed installed there's three ellipses right here you can look through look through adjust anything but also delete so when you're done using one of these you can just delete that app now it's going to ask you, why are you deleting it? It might just be, hey, I just wanted to try this out. So you'd click that, go to delete app, and then 
it's going to get rid of it and get rid of all those feed connections and everything. So you'd have to redo all that. But then if you want to try a different app, you can go back, type in Instagram, maybe add a different social feed and play around with it until you get the design you want. But that is how to add an Instagram feed here in Wix. And let me know if you have any questions down below.